Okay, Fergus enters this game. Helmet now. We could, we'll get this game going. could say Goldfinger. Goldfinger? <laughs> yeah, they can scope chat. It's uh, Copperfinger. Oh, is this the same set as before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, this is the oh, first time we're getting set up going. Alright. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I, oh, play, so I play my treasures and I buy a money lender. Actually, no, that's um, that's. The I hope one. they bought that statue dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Money. Oh, there he is. I was tempted to do what you're doing, but I'm gonna go workshop. No, workshop's okay. I didn't see what show did. What show did? <laughs> I bought money lender for the first one. Yeah, I like, oh, yeah. I like, I like yeah. trashing away my coppers. Yeah, trash your copper, but you get three coins. Yeah, it, it gives you a good chance of buying a gold well. next turn, which is the main reason. <coughs> yep, feast is a good play there. Here you go. Free for silver. Shuffles up. <coughs> No dying, though. Another workshop. It's so, alright. It's a strange. If you, if you press the play treasures, it'll play them all at once. Uh, I accidentally hit it. That's okay. I mean, you I'm there, working left-handed. There are, there are, in in <laughs> some of the more um, advanced games, there's reasons for not playing all your money at once. But we'll mm -hmm. get there when we get there. So from here, your options are generally silver, village, or workshop. Yeah, you're basically building up for the late game. Yeah, Workshop's not a bad play, actually, considering the setup. Yeah, it is. That's why I, cho that's why I chose it, because um, you can get a card. Yeah, doesn't buy a trading post. I don't think it counts as a buy. I'm about to no, find that. I always there. avoided trading post. I like trading card. post, actually. It's an, one of the nice, sort of trashy cards if there's nothing else available. And it puts the silver straight into your hand, so it gives you two when you. It's two money, effectively, for that. Yeah, it doesn't. But count like, as I like quite a lot of. I mean, not not to the level of slime boy's obsessiveness with going a deck with only ten cards in it. He is and winning. Really good at doing that. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's more the point. He gets to a deck with ten cards and wins. <laughs> and he get. I mean, he gets really, really annoyed when he has, and he has to take it up to fifteen just because he's got to add the victory cards in at the end. But that fifteen card deck is worth fifty points. Oh, you juice feast. They can choose any uh, card. Feast allows you to pick any card up to a value of five. So general good ones to go for for you are the market is a general safe one. Um, Maybe uh, the, the mine. The mine is a good one. It allows you to basically upgrade your money from different type to type. Torture lets you draw three cards and inconveniences the rest of the players. <laughs> Trading post allows you to get rid of two cards. Oh, darn it. Windows is telling me to change the color scheme and improve performance again. <laughs> which comes up right in the middle of the down recording window. <laughs> Mm, I'll take the mine. Yep, mine's a good play. The intenseness of this game. The intensity. You need to, you, you need to downgrade your colours for it. Clearly. Do you only have one? We're gonna take it. We gotta take away all the colour in the cards so they all look like community cards. Indeed. Uh, for four, I shall go village. Someone's been playing the print and play copy. <laughs> There we go. Just because someone might have a market instead. Cheeky freaky. Cheeky freaky? Oh, what does Feast do again? That's up to five, isn't it? Yeah, Feast gets a card for which is value up to five, which is actually quite good in this game because they've got a few options. Yeah. So you, oh, get, one this... action, yeah, you get one action each turn that you can play. This, this, is, um, this is where I needed a card that gave me one action. Which is why we got the village in there, or the market. You got a couple of options there. I think I got a village. I don't know. Um, guys, someone else has bought one. I I'd one. say market at this point, Debbie, or um, possibly torture. Yeah. Market or torture. Yeah, I'm gonna do market. Yeah, don't stop trying to give, make us give us curse He's guides. He's new to the game. I've got to give advice that's helpful. <laughs> I'll, I'll, it'll it'll bite me in the backside if it doesn't. <laughs> I'll buy a feast. <laughs> Well, I was already looking at the cards he was suggesting both times. <laughs> well, it, it only suggests the ones you can buy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish Workshop had plus one action. Well, it doesn't. It just allows you to get things that have plus one action. I know. I wish it did have a plus one action, though. Darn you, fate! 
They've done some really good Money Lander and Feast in my hand at the same time. <laughs> and no actions. Well, I mean, there's plenty of tactics that are available in this game. There isn't really a multi-buy option unless you go massively into markets, but the garden strategy does tend to work if you're willing to clog your deck up to do it. Give up, give up that's only strategy. worth one for every ten cards. Yes, but if you can get up to 40 cards in your deck, then that's four each, which makes them more valuable than duchies. If you can get up to five cards, that puts them reasonably close to the province territory. If you can get, if you can stack up the multi-buys, and you can always buy copper. But how does that work? Because it's worth one for every ten cards. Oh, I see. Yeah, so once you get up to 50 cards in total in your deck, there's well five. And that's about as high as they generally go, I'll be honest. And you can stack them as well. And, yep, and you can always yeah. buy copper. Okay, so now you're allowed an extra action because you played the market. So if you had an extra action, you could have played it. But you've now got five money because effectively the market gives you one as well. You can also buy two things if you want, up to a value of five. Hmm. So you have five coins. You could buy two things that cost. Um, yeah, you've only got five coins. You spent five coins. Man, explanation is so good. Village seller is probably <laughs> your, well. Okay, torture is fine. It's out of getting me. The other option was village seller. Um, don't buy a second item because the only thing you can buy is copper. You don't really. Or a curse. I don't recommend don't, curse. Don't buy curses. <laughs> I did that once. I thought it was a removed curse. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> All right, Windows. I'm 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 pissed and annoyed at you, so I'm just going to leave you out of the recording window and keep you up. Right, You're so... annoyed at me. I'm annoyed at Windows. <laughs> What's it saying? Oh, it's telling me it's I, I can upgrade my colors. color performance. <laughs> um, I'm going to buy a torturer. Oh, here comes all the fucking torturers. No, <laughs> no, no, no snooze. I don't like it. Not at least two. Okay, I'm gonna I mean, to be this. fair, the torture isn't it. all bad. You can just discard two cards, and therefore you don't get any curses. It doesn't make you take a curse. <laughs> <laughs> you can just choose to. Um, this is gonna be to interesting be turn. So, so what you're saying is that it just puts a gun to your head, but you can choose not to pull the trigger. There's still or a gun you can to give your the information head. to us. Exactly. <laughs> now. This is where I need a flashlight, because I'm going to ask you something. Where is the rebel base? What? Where is the rebel base? Crickets. Okay. <laughs> Dylan. He's spraying references I'm not understanding. Dylan. Yes. Where is the rebel base? <laughs> Why should I know this? Where is the rebel base? Tell me. I don't know. Uh, I've been blinking underwear. the flashlight at you at this point. Is it going? What's your answer? It's in Stoopy's underwear. Good answer. <laughs> Debbie. What? Where's the rebel base? Where's the rebel base? Yes, where's the rebel base? Sector 4. Okay. <laughs> You've all been very helpful. Continue your turn. My turn. No, Debbie's turn. <coughs> What's the saying? <coughs> it's always worth it. buying silver up, by the way, because it that just basically guarantees you. <laughs> I'm getting money. worried about that. I keep trashing my covers. I've not bought any silver yet. <laughs> yeah, this is the other side of the coin. You need to replace <laughs> the money you trash. <laughs> I, this, I was noticing it. I was like, has he been buying any silvers, or has he been, been trashing his covers? <laughs> Discard two or take a curse. God, states. You're torturing us. I am torturing you. That's Stupid why I said, where is the rebel it. base? Oh, he's <laughs> taking a curse. You can discard two cards in your hand at this point, or take a curse, and I'd recommend discarding two if you can. Starting with the green cards, and then possibly copper. Me? Yeah, you've got the option. Oh. If you can discard two green cards, that's fine, do it, because it wouldn't help you anyway. Alternatively, estate cards? Yeah, estate cards. Sexual offending runs in families. What? What? <laughs> what? It's just science. I, I have told you I'm recording this, right? What are you looking at? <laughs> uh, no, I'm just looking at one of the subreddits. It's the science one. Apparently it's a 37-year national-wide study. Interesting. Buying a market. Not, not so that I'm saying I am one. <laughs> Not the, no, I'm I didn't not, suggest, I didn't suggest I'm not that saying I'm on a list, I'm just reading her post. 
Double no, no, feast. No, no, no. I wasn't accusing. <laughs> Double feast, copper. I need. I don't need any coins. I got my markets. I'll give you money. See, this is why I was. I took a curse. Indeed. Well, I think sexual offending isn't um, one of those things that's determined by nature. It's. I think it's more so nurture. So if you're running in the same household, you're probably being raised in a kind of screwed up way by someone, and so the cycle continues. It's hard to say, that isn't it? makes like... sense. <laughs> <laughs> For flip's sake. Alright, fine. Change the color scheme. See what I care. <laughs> if you screwed up my recording, I'm just... All the people he sees are going to be blue now. Well, the thing is, because I'm recording at the time, and I'm recording through that, I have no idea how that's actually going to affect things. <laughs> I'm going to be a smexy smurf from now on. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the recording off here. There we go. So in theory, even if it's wrecked at the end of that video, the rest of the match is fine. Your turn, wait, Savannah. Wait, what's happened? Oh, uh, basically, I decided to actually bother changing the darn thing. It'll change. Ba it'll tell me to change back later. <laughs> no, it was fine as it was. Put it back. <laughs> I don't know why I was even asking that. That no, was <laughs> fine. Trading post away two coppers. It's like, what are you mad? Jesus. Buy silver. Efficiency! And now my money lenders are effectively useless. Well, actually, they're not. I've still got some copper, but it feels like they are. So how do I go. use my mine? Village. Oh, when you you basically use an action card. You play that before you play your treasures down. Okay. So you just click Would that. Would it show up in my hand if I still had it? Um, yeah. Yeah, you use the five cards in your hand um, each turn. So if, oh, you have, so if you have one, you click on the action card and it plays the action. Generally, play your villages first because they give you additional actions. So if you have villages oh, or markets, right. you should play those first and then play the rest of it. This is what Dylan's effect uh, sorry, Snoopy's effectively done here. Started with a village, then played a workshop, seller, market, workshop. So if I had my mine a few turns ago, then I don't have it anymore? No, no, no well, you basically your cards cycle round, so eventually when you finish discarding them all and you run out of cards to draw, your discards get shuffled up and that's your new deck. Yeah. So your cards effectively uh, cycle round. You keep going through the same set of cards. Hmm. Okay. Just with the ones you added um, in your previous next few turns. So mark it first, that gives you an extra action, so you can play one more action card if you've got one. Um... You of course don't have to, but you can. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm torturing you! Gosh. Yes you are, I'm going to discard two I'm cards, so I'm going to discard my state and my money lender. Because neither <laughs> of them help me at the moment. They're just going to watch me torture you? No, I've decided, not to, I've decided to discard two cards, I've given you the information. <laughs> no, my money lender would have helped. Yeah, and I made you squeal! Pretty much. Uh, this is probably a mistake. I keep the mind under my hand just in case I draw a copper off this market. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a low risk. I decided not to do that. I kept the village, but decided it I was wasn't. so tempted to get a curse, though, because I had double copper in my hand. This is the thing. That's what the torturer does. It makes you want to take curses. Just to <laughs> keep what you've got. But genuinely... Oh, right, shit. It's me. I was waiting for a prompt. Fuck. No, no you're being tortured. You're being tortured. You should really realise that. Or maybe it's that kind of torture. <laughs> like, I, I might be torturing you right now. Flashing. I might I was not. Like, maybe you should reveal the information anyway. Go on. Reveal the information. I might no. be torturing you right now, but you don't know. No. <laughs> and six buys gold. Oh, why did you buy... Oh, you can buy silver, two silver, but you could have bought gold there. No, because I only have two silvers. <laughs> I need six to get a gold. Yeah, but you've got... One gold from your market plus one, two, three, four coppers and two silver. Totals up, that got you seven coins. Yeah, um, if you're looking, do you see the little round things on the left there? That's the cards. That tells you how much yeah. money you've got available at yeah. the bottom. Yeah, I can tell you how many actions, buys, and coins you have. Like, so you can buy one yeah. thing that costs four as your last last bit of this turn, but you had enough mm -hmm. to buy. You had enough to buy gold. You could buy an extra silver or a village if you wanted. I'd probably recommend the village at this point. Mm, you know, yeah, okay. by a province actually. Seven, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. Seven, yeah. It, was, it wasn't quite enough. Okay, and that gives me the five, and that will buy me a torture. See, now this is the point where it gets annoying, because like I've re removed two cards because of torture. If someone else, God damn you, my one lender. <laughs> oh, you had you played a blank money lender. Well, you don't have any copper to lend. <laughs> I lend my gold uh, to someone. Uh, work out for me. What were they for? Dylan, lend me a gold. I'll <laughs> pay you back next turn. 
I don't feel like my deck's actually getting anywhere. So, generally speaking, actions first. Yep, the mine. You now decide, use one of your treasure cards, copper. You now buy one that's slightly higher. So, you buy silver. So go that goes straight into your hand, doesn't it? Yeah, that goes straight into your hand, by the way. Okay. So that's done. Now you play out your treasures. So now you have five coins. You can buy one thing that costs up to five. Um, yeah, because you only have one by action. And market or torture are probably your best two bets at this stage. <laughs> I'm, trying to I'm sorry, you. torture is a good. Is plus three plus three cards is a good thing to have, especially as it inconveniences everybody else. Market is a general good standby, to be fair. Oh, I'm glad we don't have King's Court on this one. <laughs> no, I, I didn't want to go through the complicated doubling tactics just yet. A King's Court wouldn't have done anything anyway with Torturer, because you, you, you discard your two and then it doesn't discard Pretty again. Press away Estate Copper, buy, get another silver. Oh no, it does! Damn it! Oh, it's and it really buy gold. <laughs> I thought Torturer was like they discard down to three, but no, yeah. No, <laughs> In theory. Multi multiple Torturers is a thing. <laughs> I it's think I've got rid of all of my Copper. I, I almost had. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm going to some more. But nobody's quite gone off just yet, it has to be said. Yeah, so my, my strategy's not really Generally panning Generally speaking, out. what we mean oh. by going off, um, Debbie, is that basically you can start getting provinces reliably most turns. I think it's just... Yeah, it's a long game. It can Word. be. Sometimes it's sometimes it, it the process is sped, sped up a bit, but you'd be surprised sometimes, especially if people have been really efficient with their deck building, how quickly you can get up to buying eight consecutive rounds. To be fair, it can sometimes be done as a bluff, and I've certainly done it. Fuck. But Sorry. It's a little annoying. <laughs> I might have to gain a curse here. Mm. No, screw it. I can wait. Uh, we'll get rid of. I'll get rid of my Torturer and Silver. See, mate, I'm, I'm glad. I'm well, glad. I had Torturer and Six in my hand, that's the thing, but I want to do something else. <laughs> Dylan is being tortured. Yeah, if I'd have gone for the um, for the Cursor, I could probably have got eight that turn. Okay, I'll probably draw another coin of some sort, so I'll scrap that. Okay, I'm getting a curse. I'm not losing these. Oh, you need a way to get rid of them, though, and I think Trading Post is the best way to do it, and I'm the only one who's picked one up. Oh, I've got a trade me boss. Hmm. No, it's only ten. There's only ten cards, and I've got one. Wait. So, have, where, where do you see? see where, where do you see how much money you have all together? Currently, you have one coin, but if you play it all, play all your treasures. Yeah. With the play treasure button. Okay. If you look at the bottom there, you now have coins six. And two bottom bites. where. Those little middle blue left. circles oh, next left. to your card. tells you how many right, things yeah. you can buy, two, and how many coins you have total, mm. six. So now you can buy a gold. But it doesn't tell you whether you have silver or copper, though? It doesn't matter. It's, doesn't just matter. How, it's just how many coins they're worth. Silver is worth two coins. Copper is worth one coin. You have six coins, uh. which allows you to buy a gold. Yeah, it's like real money. Like, you can have two $5 bills, but you still got $10. Yeah. Is it worth buying a duchy or a province? No, not or yet for you. You want to buy gold because you want to try and make it more likely that you'll be able to get a duchy or a province every turn. Oh, oh. Doubt the city's so I would buy gold at this stage because it's worth three and it's always a good thing to draw that. Okay. Ding. Ding, and that's worth three coins when you play it. Na 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 na. <laughs> na 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 na. Hey hey hey. Goodbye. And that's in your turn. Did you technically have a second buy? But oh, huh? no, no, hold on. I need to do, I need to bring up the XKCD thing. Um, there's an XKCD thing with all of the sort of um, continuing na 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 na, -na and then all the sort of growing branches off, which do lead to what you, comes after it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to buy a market. I'm going to play my treasures and get a village. Oh, I lied. I do have copper still in the deck. Ah. It must be killed. <laughs> I would say I'm actually losing the game right now. Because I've actually trashed most of my stakes as well. Well, I did torture you twice. No, no, I actually got rid of my stakes from the game. So I'm actually... My, my deck isn't worth three victory points at this stage. It's worth nil. Did I just gain a curse? Um, you did pick one up earlier. I only picked up two yeah. curses so far. 
That's right. You're the only person <laughs> who has, so... So estates aren't good for anything except throwing away? Um, generally speaking, I t most high-level players tend to get rid of the estates early, at least the initial ones. Um, they're, only worth they're, just one... worth, they're worth the points at the end of the game. Yeah, they're worth one point at the end of the game. Duchies are worth three points at the end of the game. Provinces are worth six. You win by having mm. those in your deck at the end of the game, but early game, you just want to get enough money and cards that allow you to get to buy them each turn without clogging the deck up too quickly. I'm always tempted to get the training post to get rid of these fucking money lenders. <laughs> well, that's that's what I've got my training post for, effectively, though it hasn't turned up yet. I've nearly run out of them. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> the only plus point is I can actually discard two cards here because I was they were the ones the ones I was going to um, trash away to trading post. Yeah, oh, I, I guess I'm going to. Oh, I messed up. I should have gone. Esta I should have discarded estate trading post there because I wasn't going to use it now. Ah well. Can you tell who's winning so far? Well, I know I'm losing, but that's because I've discarded two estates. Um, nobody, you, you nobody can't tell has the bought. End. Now, because all um. the green cards have still got twelve in them, nobody's bought any victory points. So we're all drawing them. Except for anybody who's discard who's trashed estates. Which I have. So I'm probably on one victory point, everybody else is on three. And the very worst thing you can do with yeah, workshop into feast or something like that. Oh, that's eight points. You can now buy a province. If you want to. Hmm. You're, but I should probably just keep buying gold. You should probably buy another gold yeah. for the moment, but next time you get an opportunity to buy eight, do it. Okay. As a general rule, the first time you get to eight is never a good idea to go buy the province unless you know you can get there again. So that's why I tend to wait for the second time you do it. Unless you're oh. trying to bluff, which is a thing in this game sometimes. Except when you're being told how to play the game because you're new at it. There's that too. <laughs> I buy gold. <laughs> Ooh, this looks good. Oh, I'll just torture people a lot. Torturing can work. It gives you free cards as well, and gives you a good chance of getting up to enough cards to get to the eight again. <laughs> but if you can do it, do it. And from now on, if you get eight, buy a province. Okay. Don't generally buy. Don't buy duchies though. Is the only thing I would recommend normally. It's yeah. a pretty small deck. You buy if you know the game's about to end, and you think somebody else is about to win. Then buy duchies because they might make the difference. But Duchies are sort of a last, when the, last game grabs. the alternative strategy is to buy a lot of gardens, but it's a risky one. Game ends mm. when all the provinces are bought, or, or when, when other three other tiles other... are gone. And there's twelve of them. If the number, the red number is how yeah. many cards are left in each pile. Oh, okay. When three piles are depleted, again, yeah, When three piles are depleted, the game ends, and whoever, the victory points are counted at that stage. So we could potentially very quickly end the game if we get all the villagers' feasts and mines. Yeah, there's, there's three piles that are quite low. And I'm definitely losing. <laughs> I'll get a garden stay you dear to win. I can't go for gardens, I don't have enough cards in my deck. They're only worth two points. My deck's pretty small this time, yeah. Because I went the money lenders, mines, although I wish I went trading post now. But it's too late to really worry about that. Village. Village. Dodger! Uh... Fucking Christ! Mm <laughs> hmm. My first time being tortured. Oh, I tortured before. <laughs> Discard two cards or take a curse. Oh yeah, I remember now. Okay. Damn you! Uh, I'm the only person to take curses because there's thirty in a pile, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. you are the one. If, you, if you can afford to discard, you should discard. By the way, torturer. Yeah. Oh, you <laughs> fucker! Discard another two cards or take a curse. What does the curse do? It's worth negative one victory point. Hmm. You're drawing your Snoops at this point, I think, Show. Yeah, I think I am, actually. No, in fact, I'm ahead of Snoops. I've got an estate in my hand, and he's got three curses. Market? I, I can afford to lose the other two. Money lender honest. into copper. Play treasures. I now have 18 and two buys. I buy two provinces. Put down your strats. My strats are amazing. And you get a what if we went through someone new to the game? <laughs> That's when I go on a losing streak. <laughs> Sorry, Dylan. <laughs> it's it's the only way I win. <laughs> Diversion tactics. That too. But also, my strategy now is to try and eat up the piles. I think, <laughs> if I can. 
Oh no, <laughs> no, no. we don't approve of that tactic at all. <laughs> it could have worked. Could have worked. Yeah, well, to be fair, Tortra is a nice card bundled. to have, but yeah, I can I can discard two here. Province <laughs> and trading post go away. But the fact is, I've got, I only have, I think, one copper remaining in my deck now. All of my money is now worth two or more, which gives me a good chance <laughs> of getting to eight quite a lot. Especially with extra torture draws and things. And six. Yeah, gold is probably a good, sensible buy at this stage. Torturer. <laughs> Dylan's not happy. <laughs> this is now this my deck has now officially gone off, by the way. If two buying two provinces in one turn didn't already indicate that. Yes. <laughs> so I'm now at the point where I can buy provinces semi reliably. Um, however However, I have ten and two buys. So I'm gonna buy two markets. I have a solid lead on the rest of you, so I can afford to try and buy out the piles. And I really need to get rid of my money lender somehow. <laughs> Everyone, we've got to tie him down and torture him repeatedly. <laughs> so he can't get his so he can't get his moves off. Well the thing is if you do that, that's only gonna affect everybody else, and I'm just gonna try and buy my feasts, villages, and markets to end the game. He's got a point, like I'm gonna. I'm, I've got two ways of ending the game, and now I've got a 12-point lead on you. I can try, afford to try and buy out the last three piles, and that helps me. <laughs> I now only have to buy two piles. I'd buy victory points from now on if you can, because you're now fighting for second place, almost certainly. Uh, so I buy your states. I'd buy duchies if you can. Mm -mm. No, not this hand. Oh, don't buy this hand. Then buy buy a seller or something. <coughs> I'm not gonna, I probably Just won't do enter. it this round. Yeah. Buy a seller. Okay. Oh, you didn't buy anything. Oh, oops. No. Nah. <laughs> Market. Tortra! No! <laughs> Fortunately, I've drawn two villages, which is annoying. <laughs> but no more annoying than your discards, I imagine. No, I'm going to take these. I'm going to get rid of them. That's all I'm going to do. If you can get rid of them, do it. But I think the trading post is the only way to do it. <laughs> if you've got a trading post in your hand, actually, it's quite a nice thing to be tortured, because then you just know you can get rid of it straight away. Which is the main reason I took it early. <laughs> if you have so it, if you have a trading post... I didn't realize the torture is stacked so badly. They do. Um, if you've got a trading post in hand, though, it's quite nice to actually be tortured, because you can, get, you can then just immediately trash it away and get a silver back. But Play treasures. And I'm going to buy out two villages. Oh, darn it. <laughs> My deck, though, is only actually 23, 22 cards long. So my gardens would only be worth two points. Speaking of which, Dylan's... Yeah, gone. mine's only worth two, I think. Two at best, I think. Three if you're lucky by end game. You can get a duchy with a, um, with a feast, by the way. Um, with a, um, yeah, with a feast you can get a duchy. Glod. See, I've got a lot of shadows, so these caresses aren't doing. No, you can at least deal with them, at least internally, but. So the curse card just sits in your hand. It's like the victory card. Picking up it's like the victory point cards. They do nothing, but obviously, you know, they takes up room. They take up room. Well, than giving you points, it takes. Is there a way to get rid of them? There are a couple of ways. In this game, you can trade use the trade post to trash them. Okay. But I think that's actually the only way of doing it. And it's a bit of a long trek to do it as well, actually, by this stage of the game. Hmm. Yeah. It's only worth negative one, and oh, buy a province. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that puts you solid being second, that means I can't is. really afford to do what I was doing. Hmm, I could I could trash two provinces to get a silver, is that worth it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Torture. Oh, <laughs> pushing you to torture. Okay. 
now I'll play Trading Post, and I'll trade post away a Money Lender and a Silver to get a Silver. Play Treasures, and I'll buy a Province. Got down your market. <laughs> Trying me. I can't betray you, Dylan. It's a mindless. In it's a computer interpretation of a card. Okay, um. I might be able to win the game if I'm fortunate this my next turn. I hindered myself early. I didn't start buying money. That, yeah. It, generally speaking, if you've got nothing else to do, buy silver. It, al it always helps if you've got additional. Higher values of I, already had, oh, I always had other things to do though. Hmm? <laughs> but I just shouldn't have been doing them. <laughs> Generally speaking, if you're getting rid of all your copper, you do need to replace it with something. Yeah, replace it with money lenders. <laughs> well, that's why I didn't go massively on the money lender. I only bought one, I think. No, I literally only bought one as well. <laughs> you don't need to buy more than one money lender. Not unless you're playing a copper. There are copper heavy strategies that work, but they're a bit unusual. Copper smith. Copper smith. There's another card which basically allows you to pick up all the copper which you've discarded and put it into your hand. Yeah. So any copper in your discard pile goes into your hand temporarily. Mm -hmm. I think my, Not too bad then. My brother has used that to get two colonies before. I seen him. I seen him use that with copper smith as well. Yeah, that's the thing. Copper smith. That. It, it's a Cobble Smith make Cobble Cobble Smith 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 is, is a strategy that basically made Slime Boy the legend of this game in a few ways. Does the seller allow you to discard um, a curse card? Yeah, it allows you to discard yeah. any cards in your hand and then draw new ones, but you've already played your money. you got to play all your actions before you play your money now. Okay. But for the moment, you've got four. Market. Market. Virge. How did he I guess? I fucking knew that was coming. How did he guess? I... <laughs> I only got two of these, by the way. <laughs> Can I get somebody into negative victory? In fact, actually, quite a few of you are in negative victory points, I feel. No, I'm, I'm well into negative, don't worry. Village. Village. Market. Do I have enough money to buy free feasts? Yes, I do. Game over. Uh. <laughs> And I even got a duchy for my troubles. No, I'm gonna torture it out of you. Negative three for Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in second right place. Back. Cool beans. Right. Yeah, you were in second when you managed to buy a province. <laughs> I was 35 ranks for that. <laughs> Sorry, and I had a torture. Let's see how my rankings <laughs> climbed. I'm up to 24 again. Climbing <laughs> the ladder. <laughs>